Anyway, how's it going? Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a topic on bears. There's been a lot of posts lately about bears. There's been a lot of comments and conversations lately about bears. There seems to be a bit, lot bigger of a presence of bears up here in Northern California coming into different neighborhoods and areas lately. And uh, a lot of people um, have misconceptions and misunderstandings. And uh, I thought that I might just make a video real quick and talk to some of y'all and uh, clear up some misconceptions. Uh, so a lot of the posts that I see are like, oh my God, there's a bear in my neighborhood. You know, I like walk my kids, I walk my dog, I walk my whatever. Like somebody's got to come and deal with this bear. Like, oh my God, all this stuff. And they're like really being turns about it and kind of really blowing it out of proportion to be honest. Um, and that's not really an opinion, that's actually a fact. Uh, so, um, first off, maybe we should discuss what bears eat. Bears don't eat you. Sorry to break it to you, but you're not on the menu. You're not even something that the bear is interested in, to be honest. Uh, bears eat plants and berries and sometimes fish and usually very, very small animals that are similar to, like, the size of a rodent, you know? So... When a bear comes into your neighborhood and a bear is, you know, present, common in your area, then uh, the only thing that's going to harm in your neighborhood, if anything, is your trash can. And it might chase your cat. It might catch your cat. But it's not going to go after your dog. It's not going to go after your kid. It's not going to go after you. You know, don't corner it and make it so that it doesn't have a way to run away and be able to escape to safety because a bear against you will choose to fight every time you know unless it's trying to protect its cub or really has something that it's going to put its life on the line for you know because the bear doesn't want no problems the bear doesn't have any problems with you the bear isn't going to come just attack you or anything you know calm down bears are not such a problem you know i know man actually up in Willow Creek area that has a couple pet bears. I've seen the man go up and pet the bear and stuff, you know, with my own eyes. You know, pretty cool guy. Bears are really not that bad. You know, and uh, something else that maybe some people don't really think about but maybe we should consider is there's a cycle of life and there's always, you know, rodents to animals to bigger animals to birds to everything. Everything has a place. Everything has a spot in the world and in life. And some things are territorial. And sometimes that is very beneficial, not only dangerous. Um, one of the ways that that's beneficial is if there's a group of bears or there's bears common in your neighborhood or in the woods that you love to enjoy, then that there's usually not bears and lions in the same area. You know, uh, they don't really hang out. Um, so, if there's bears in your neighborhood, then there's probably not lions. And if you have somebody come out and remove or deal with that bear, then something else eventually is going to step up and try to take the plate in that scenario. And that's probably going to be a lion. So, do you really want somebody to come out and come and deal with the bear so that you can get the lion? Probably not, because the lion will eat you. The lion will eat your kids. The lion doesn't care, you know? And, uh... Yeah, so maybe in the future, maybe we should think, is the bear really that bad? Because the bear is actually pretty cool compared to a lion have a wonderful day you guys think about it a little bit you know next time that you know that there's a bear in your neighborhood pop up in that trash can lid you know maybe just leave them out a plate of food you leave them out a plate of food maybe you won't even get in your trash can but have a good day y'all love ya.